Welcome to Super Agents Live. This is the one place where you can come and hear the most successful people in real estate. You'll hear how these super agents built their businesses, how they stay productive, and how they stay motivated. Who am I? My name's Toby Salgado, and I made my first million in real estate. And I'm your host for the next 30 minutes while we talk to yet another amazing real estate entrepreneur. Stay tuned. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, hey, thank you so much for tuning in to Super Agents Live. I know your time's valuable, so I appreciate you spending some of it with me. Listen, there's always those episodes out there that uh, that you listen to once and it's just golden. And we have other ones that you listen to two, three, four. I've heard of people saying, man, I listened to that episode six times. Today's is for sure at least a two listen. So here's what we talk about. We talk about video. We talk about how to use video to, to market, to mine your list. This guy has tons of great info on, on using video, on using email sequences for customer development. He dropped some nuggets, again, on mining your database, stuff that I even I have not heard of before. He even goes over some hacks, some how to use LinkedIn, how to export your, your list in LinkedIn, drop it into Yahoo. I've never heard of some of this stuff before. So this is one. Get your pen and paper ready. You're going to need it. Before we get to it, let's hear from our sponsor. We all know the best kind of referral is one from our sphere or farm. But how do we stay top of mind? Now, most people, they take a three-pronged approach, right? They door knock in their farm, they call people, and they mail them. Most people fall down by not getting to their people, their sphere, their farm. They don't get them engaging content. And look, you know, sure, we can list them a postcard. Or we can send them an article that we think is going to be of interest to them. Our new sponsor, Discover Publications, takes that one step further. For just slightly more than the cost of a stamp, Discover Publications creates a completely customized newspaper. Now, they'll go out and they'll curate content or you can create your own. All of my sponsors are white leveled. Now, I called prior to having them on the show, I called some of Discover Publications clients. And I talked to this one guy and he does some interesting things. He'll go out and interview restaurants that are in his farm, in his sphere. He creates a write-up. He, interestingly enough, resells advertising in his own newspaper to his trusted network, whether that's the plumber or the insurance agent. And by the way, this guy has 60% market penetration. He told me the paper has cemented those numbers. If you're interested, go check out discoverpubs.com. Let me know what you think. Okay, a little housekeeping before we get to the content. If you don't know, if you're new to the show, welcome. Hashtag for this show is unpack that idea. Go ahead and tweet using that hashtag. You will get more followers. Um, I've been saying, I said last time, listen, I have one more spot for coaching. If you want to level up in your business and grow faster, be better, get there quicker, uh, Let's talk about coaching. Send me an email. We'll see if we're a good fit. And July 18, we are doing a live event. It's a very small live event. It's a mastermind. We're going to be masterminding all day here in San Diego. It's 150 bucks. It's going to happen on July 18th. So if you're interested, send me an email and uh, we're going to have at least one. I have a couple of people that have been on the show that, uh, that really are big supporters of the show. And uh, I've had a few very big names, very good names, I should say, very quality people said, hey, you know what, Toby? If you need some backup, let me know. I'll drive down from LA. I'll fly in from San Francisco, whatever, and uh, and I'll do this mastermind with you. So if you're interested, send me an email, and uh, we'll see when we get you on the list. All right. Hey, let's get to the show. Today on the show, we're doing something a little bit different. I have a guy that uh, that has a business. It's called Viral Marketing. And if you want to go take a look, it's getviral.com, and that's viral with a Y. His name is Frank Klesitz. Super excited to have him on the show. He works with realtors, and he helps market to your list, to your sphere. He helps get more people engaged with your content. Hey, Frank, thanks for taking the time hey. out today. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me on the show. So listen, you do something a little bit uh, pretty unique out there, and that's that's why you're on the show. And, and by the way, you were referred to the show uh, through a guy, um, uh, Dufek, Harley Dufek, which he's going to, we had him booked for the show and, and, uh, I don't know if there was a conflict right before we started recording, but take a minute, tell us a little bit about yourself, about yourself, and then tell us about your business. Sure. Well, I'm Frank Klesitz. 
And about five years ago, I was looking to get into real estate and five or six years ago, rather. And they basically said two things, you know, you need to prospect three hours every single morning and you need to have some system to stay in touch with all the people that you meet. I said, well, wouldn't it make sense to have a system to stay in touch with all the people I meet before I go out and do all this prospecting? And I said, well, yeah. And I said, well, what's that system? And there's the question mark. And pretty much all that I could find was a bunch of canned, pre-written, you know, boring content, you know, that I wanted to email out, put on Facebook and just, you know, drip on my list, you know. So my, my goal was to go out and make 30 contacts a day, every morning, speak with 30 people every day by prospecting on the phone, whether it's expired, FISBOs, past clients, centers of influence. You know, only a small percentage of those people probably want to buy or sell a house, but I'd be speaking to a lot of people. I said, why not ask for their email address to stay in touch while I talk to them, right? So I wanted to have a way to stay in touch with all these people before I went out and did all the prospecting. The challenge was I didn't really want to send them the stuff that was canned. So my idea was simple. I want to sit down once a month and record two short educational uh, Q&A video tips, be it a market update, I don't know, a buyer tip, seller tip, what's going on in the community, that way people can see me. I could build trust and authority and drip my great video content in my database and use it on Facebook and there, you know all the benefits of having videos online, right? Yep. And I realized this takes a lot of time, not so much for just shooting the video. That only takes about 15, 20 minutes because you can record it right on your webcam. These webcams these days are real nice. But it's the editing, it's the writing, it's the promotion, it's the getting the database together, segmenting the list, it's writing the email and writing the post, and editing the video and search optimizing it. And then, you know, so I wrote off this checklist of like all the steps that I had to do to pull off this nurture program. And it was a very, very, very long checklist. And what I realized as I said, well, maybe there is a need in the marketplace for someone to do, do nothing but this checklist. And that has how viral marketing was born. And about uh, six years later, about 210 clients or so, and uh, about 23 or so employees here at Viral Marketing uh, based out of Omaha, Nebraska, that is what we do. We help we interview you on a webcam to create a couple educational video tips a month, and we market them to your database to help you increase refer, uh, lead conversion, uh, repeat business referrals, and so on and so forth. Interesting. Interesting, man. Um, so, so you do two now, now so the videos that you do, cause look, one of the things that I, I love video and if you listen to the show, man, I, I encourage people all the time, go out, record video, you know, um, you know, if you're driving around a neighborhood, you know, you, you, it would be really cool. I mean, I look at your video guy. I'd love to get your take on this. Here's one of the things I suggested to one of my coaching clients. I said, go get two GoPros. And this, again, it does take time, right, to do all the editing and stuff. But but just imagine this. Take two GoPros. One you mount outside your car, so it's looking forward. And then you have one inside that's looking at you. And as you're driving around the neighborhood, you know, or your farm or whatever, you know, you're talking about it, right? You're, you're, you're dropping steel. Hey, listen, yep. this is a local park. You know, go back, merge those two together and, and you know, put that on your YouTube channel. Put that on your site. Um, um, what do you think of that idea? It's actually an excellent idea. Is there's actually different types of video content. So you have your basic Q&A video tips that you give in front of your webcam, which is where you start, market updates, buyer tip, seller tip, okay? Yep. Then obviously you can advance to something a little more advanced is what you're talking about, which is uh, doing a community tour. Now here's the thing, that's what buyers want. If you're gonna try to convert buyer leads or you wanna kind of convince a buyer to work with you versus another agent, you wanna show your expertise on the area. So what you want to do is, you know, you know, just go to some online search site. Go type in, you know, search San Diego homes or something. And I'm sure a bunch of websites will show up and it will say, look at all the areas that you can search in. In a perfect world, if you really wanted to crush it, you would make a quick little drive through video tour of that area of what it's like to live in the area. So when you have a buyer that comes in and says, I'm looking for homes in this area, you know, you can text them a quick little video or email them a video saying, hey, I am the expert in this neighborhood. This is what it'll be like when we drive around, and take a look at it. Give me a call and we can schedule a time to show a property. So community video tours and town tour videos are very, very, uh, are important for the buyer because all they're getting is just properties online. Right. They want to get a feel for the area and that's the value you can offer them as your realtor. Got it. Okay. That's interesting. You know, it's funny. I just thought of the idea, but I didn't think about what what side of the equation that would uh, that would speak to and that I guess that absolutely would speak to the buyer side how does how does what you guys do speak to the to the listing side of it because okay yeah. you have Q &A. Well, that's what everyone wants yeah everyone wants more listings and that's where you know you basically employ all the rest of the agents in the market to work for you 
you know, you take a list and the other agent will most likely find you the buyer. So the name of the game is listings. That's the leverage. So, you know, everyone's like, how do I get more listings? And, you know, where most listings come from, at least the most profitable, the least expensive to acquire, generally the highest commission listings, the foundation of your listings should come from your database. You know, arguably you should start off with by getting together a list of all the people that you know and starting to let them know that you're in the business of real estate. And here's how you do that. So you start off and you say, look, let's say you're brand new in real estate and you just, you know, quit your job after 20 years in corporate America and you become selling, you're going to sell houses. Where I'd start is I would export all of your LinkedIn connections, which you can do. Go on LinkedIn and export the emails of every single one of the connections you have on LinkedIn. Then I would go to your Facebook page and there's a little hack. You can link up your Facebook to Yahoo mail and Yahoo mail will actually pull in the email addresses of all your Facebook contact emails. So now you have the email addresses of all your Facebook contacts. You have all the email addresses of all your LinkedIn connections, right? But I go a step further. What about all the emails you have in your iCloud? I would go through and, or your cell phone, right? I would get all the emails out of there as well as any of the emails that maybe you have uh, saved up in the cache of your Outlook or even of your Gmail, your Google accounts. We're talking, you know, pretty much anyone you've ever talked to online, right? Get their email addresses and merge them into one. Right. And you simply want to send out an email saying, hey, I'm in real estate and I can potentially help you. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, let me know. I can help. But here's where to answer your question is how you get listings. So you got to actually start with the people you know and let them know you're in real estate. That's how you do that. It's very fast, very simple, and very leveraged to pull it off. Now you start sending them little educational video tips on anything about real estate, whether it's a market update, buyer tip, or seller tip, with a call to action to, one, call you if they're interested in selling a home. Got to include that in every message you do. Call me if you're interested in selling a home. I can help you. Or if you're thinking of selling you're not sure yet, click here to find out what your home is worth. So when you put those two call to actions next to your educational content, people will come back and opt in or, or reply back to you. But even better, let's say you have a list of 1,000 people. Let's say we take all those emails and there's 1,000 people. And we send a video out on the three things you must know before you sell your home in July. Wouldn't you like to know all the people in your database that actually click to watch that video? Oh, yeah. Well, you can run that. It's a very simple report. You can run a, actually a list of the people that watch your videos and you send them out by email. And that's what our clients do at Viral. We send out these videos on seller topics or whatever topic they want. Let's just say it's sellers in this case. And they're calling and they're following up and they're prioritizing their follow-up. Not only with obviously the lead but coming by saying, hey, you know, give me a consultation or opt in for a free value report. But they're calling the people that take time out of their day to watch the video. And they're finding that when they call those people, instead of making cold calls to like people, they, you know, so you really have two options. Do you want to call people who may be interested in buying or selling a house? Or you want to call people who are not interested. And by prioritizing your phone call with the people that are watching the videos, they're more likely to be, uh, you know, position you as the expert and more be interested in buying or selling. Right. So, so you taught, you said a lot of stuff there and you know, you, so you have this, I did not, I've never ever thought about exporting my LinkedIn contacts. I never thought about, um, uh, all the emails of your Facebook all the, friends, all those yeah. emails you have an outlook at you. There's thousands Crazy. of emails and people are sitting on this. People are sitting on a gold mine of business, but they don't see it. It's like, man, that's a lot of people. And yeah. all you told me, all I got to do is take 15 minutes and shoot some videos and email out some call to actions and I get business. Yep. See, and look, and this is where the magic, I think, of your service. And I've never used your service, Frank. And, and, and by, for everybody in the, in the <laughs> audience, I met Frank last week. We had a nice chat. I said, hey, look, come on. I think, you know, I, I would like my audience to know about, about what you do. So this is not a commercial for, for Frank at all. It's not an endorsement. I'm sure he, he does great work, but we're just getting to know him. And Yeah, and but it's just, it's just you don't have to even hire our firm to do it. I mean, people can do these on their own. I mean, conceptually is what I want to talk about here is just. Yes, I have the firm that can implement this for you. And yeah, it takes some time, so you can write us a check to help you execute it. But just conceptually, I just want people to sit back and think, man, right. maybe instead of doing all these opt-on cold calls, maybe instead of dropping all these massive checks on marketing, what I should do is have this foundation of working, the, you know, let's go work the people I know first instead of working for strangers. Right. Instead of going after strangers. And what you find is like, there's nothing wrong, obviously, with outbound calling. That's where a lot of money is made. There's nothing wrong with you know spending money on you know large marketing expenses, but those things tend to complement a core strategy of past client centers of influence and referrals, which are the most profitable, which give, which 
lets you bootstrap and gives you the money so you can go afford more of the expensive lead generation, more leverage techniques. Right. And well, sorry, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Well, well, all I'm saying is that if you get those, if you get that list together and you start educating them and you start staying in touch with them and, and showing them that you're the neighborhood expert and you have this valuable information, you do it consistently at least twice a month. You're going to have people, you, you go from a place of chasing business to attracting business where people are just going to call you up and say, hey, I've been getting your stuff, come sell my house. Or if you want to be a little more proactive about it, instead of just, you know, reaching out to strangers, now you're reaching out to people in your database. And if we pass clients or sphere, it could also be buyer leads or seller leads you've acquired over the years. That's fine. The point is, is that they know who you are because they're watching your videos. And then when you follow up with them, like, oh, he's calling me. This is the guy making the videos, right. you're positioned differently. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And, and look, here's what I was going to say. I was, I was going to go back to this tracking piece, right? So there is like, if you send out email through, uh, um, through vertical it, response, constant contact, any email marketing service will track who's clicking and watching. Right. I mean, MailChimp will, you know, and MailChimp yep. is, is free for the most part. And, and, you know, one thing that, and, and I'm, I, I don't know, certainly you have this baked into your platform. I don't know if you went out and built something or you just integrated a third party. It doesn't matter to me, but, but in terms of that, so like I will send out emails, I can see, I can see who opened them up and, and how mm -hmm. many times. So it's crazy. Some people will, are you call, you gotta, you gotta be calling them. Right, right. Yeah, I know. And I, that's where I'm feeling. But seriously, some people, I will, I, I saw this one guy who opened up my email like 25 times, you know, and, and that, and that is not, it's not uncommon for people to, for me to open up my email three or four times. Now, now here's what, here's what I've not, this is the second piece that I've not done. I wanted to get your take on it. So you can, sure. you, you have this hundred person list, right? Um, yep. uh, you know, average open rates are, let's, let's say it's 12%, you know, let's say it's 18%, right? So you, let's yeah. say, let's say it's 20, you had 20% of your list, open it up. Those are the people you should call 80% of your list. Didn't open it up. Now mm -hmm. I, the next step would be, let's scrub that list. Let's take that 20% th that opened it out of that. Um, and then the remaining portion, let's remail those people. Correct. Yes. Got it. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so, so here's, so here's, that's, yes. So what you're doing is like, we're talking about almost lead identification is let's take not only all the contacts you have, like your LinkedIn, your Facebook, all your past clients and sphere, right? But let's say you also have a bunch of buyer leads that are in your archives that you've been using these buyer lead generation services online to grab those buyer leads or Let's say that you have a whole bunch of um, seller leads that you've acquired if you're prospecting or people that say they want to sell their home in a year and they're not ready yet, so you get their email address, right? All of these emails in one big, huge list. Um, where do you start to call them? Well, you send out the email messages. It raises the people to the very top who consume your content and those who you want to follow up with. So what you're saying here is take the people that have engaged with your stuff and prioritize follow-up with them what you said is follow, prioritize follow-up with another email. What I'm saying is prioritize follow-up with a phone call, but you could do either or. So here's, well, here's the reality of this is you may not have the phone numbers for all those people to call that have actually clicked your links. You may only have their email address. Now, what I would say is Google the email address or go to PIPL.com or Intellius.com, maybe try to find their phone number all right, and call them that way. But there's nothing wrong with just maybe sending off a personal email message that says, hey, I see you're interested in some of the stuff I'm sending out. Are you interested in buying or selling a house or would you be curious to find out what it's worth? Let me know, Frank. Right, I totally agree. And here's what I, I just, just so we're clear, and I don't want to go down this rabbit hole too much. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, or what I'm suggesting is like do those things in tandem, right? So you have your open rate, 20% in this, in this example. You've, you certainly prior, you put those on the top of the list. Those, those get moved into the call bucket right or the call mm -hmm. okay and yes. the, the remaining 80 percent that didn't open it up you want to try to get them engaged right maybe you didn't use the right title for the for the first time you know maybe you sent it out to them and uh you know it, it just, i mean i get like 500 emails a day so you can send me an email and it's 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 it can easily get lost <clears throat> so you know mm -hmm. so put one the one group into the call list the second group blast out another email to try to engage them. That's, that's what I was saying. And then, and then, and then, yeah, right. And then, and then again, so the people, if you don't have their phone number and I want to get into the phone number piece, Frank, um, sure. because that is super important because again, yep. you know, um, 
uh, I just lost my train of thought. We'll, we'll, oh, well, I was gonna, what I was going to say was <laughs> if you have their name, right, there's lots of services to get. You can use Spokio. It's five bucks a month, right? You can go and try to find their phone number. Yep. So does does your service, Frank? So if I if I have uh, how how far how end to end is your service? So I have this twenty percent that it opened it up. Only ten percent of those, or fifty percent, whatever it is, I have their emails. Will you then? Does your firm help me move it along and get the phone numbers to those people? Well, yeah. Well, yes and no. Let's go through the process of what you have to do to actually get the emails, okay, or get the phone numbers. Yeah. Okay. So. If you're sending out email, you're going to get at least here's the emails that open to click the link, all right? When you when you actually exported your list, and if when you imported them in your email marketing program, if it actually included the first name, last name, and phone number, that information will show up when you run the report from the email marketing program, okay? Now, let's say you get this open and click report, we like to call it. People have opened your emails and clicked through the links, but there's a bunch of missing information where it's like, I only have some emails here, but you want to follow up with them, Okay. The first thing I would do is type the email into Google, see what comes up, and hopefully you might get a name or something. Then cross-reference the name on white pages or cross-reference the name on PIPL.com and try to do a little sleuthing to find out maybe what the phone number could be. Now, what we recommend is if you want to start doing some list building and filling in all the blanks with your list, you really have two options. The first option is going to a company like LexisNexis or Melissa Data, and they will sell you what's called a phone number append, where you literally send them your whole database and that big spreadsheet of all those contacts, you send it over to them, and they're gonna try to cross-reference the names and cities and states and try to use their big database of these companies that have all this private information on us to append the missing phone numbers, okay? But the reality is the hit rate with that sometimes isn't always that best of accurate. What I recommend is to go to elance.com where you can find contractors from around the world and there's plenty of very talented people out in India or the Philippines for somewhere between about maybe three to five dollars an hour that will literally go online and research and reverse look up all the missing information for these contacts. And you got to make sure you have a good firm and you're working with someone that they actually pull in the right information. But you outsource it to someone who specializes in list building to find the contact information. Now, if that doesn't work, so you do the list, you do the phone number, pen through like a, a third-party service. You hire someone to basically do private eye sleuthing down on them online, all right? And then if that doesn't work, you have their email address. I recommend a short email that says, hey, I need to get in touch with you very briefly about your home. I don't have your phone number. What's the best number to reach you on? And you just email them that quick message. And people will reply back, so what's this about? You know, here's my phone number, what's going on? And you say, hey, I just want to let you know the direction of home prices. I'm the local realtor in the area. I want to keep you updated and let you know that two homes in your neighborhood sold for this amount and usually one or two sell. A few more are going to sell. Have you ever thought of selling your house? Got it. You email them and you email them and ask them for their phone number. Yeah. Now, we don't, now at Viral Marketing, we don't do that. We just provide you with the open and click reports. And it's up to the client to find out how far they want to go to get that information. Got it. Okay. And look, and, and here's the magic. The magic with getting a, a phone number, especially a cell phone number, which, you know, I mean, that's what most people have, <clears throat> is that uh, uh, if I, it's, it's, the, it's the, the power of texting, right? There's lots of emails that I will not open, um, but I, I don't, I, I have a 100% open rate with my texts. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and one of the best ways to send text, if you're going to do mass texting, is you want to make sure it doesn't come from one of those stupid short codes. Like, you know, like the, the text I will not open is in the text of like from like 45326. Right. You know, it, 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 so what you want to do is make sure it comes from a real phone number. So the way that you scale that is you can use Google Voice. Google Voice will allow you to send out text messages, but they limit the number you can send per day. The service that we use, it's viral actually to follow up all of our leads that come into viral marketing. So if you request information about viral, you'll start getting texts and all these client example videos and we'll text you and send appointments by text. So every attempt that we make is we call you, we email you, and we text you for every attempt is we like SendHub, S-E-N-D-H-U-B. And yeah. they'll send unlimited texts. And um, you can actually text your videos out and communicate people with text that way. But again, that's if you have the phone number. Right, right, right. So let's, I have a question about list building, right? So you have this, you know this Facebook hack. You know you can export your contacts from LinkedIn, which again, I I I'm learning something in this call. 
So, so something that I do um, on Facebook, and I actually have a person who does it. So, you know, there are groups out there. There are groups on Facebook. Now, I'm in San Diego, and I'm sure there is a, if I look, there's some kind of group that is, uh, let me back up. So when we, our Facebook friends and our export, uh, our LinkedIn contacts are warm, they know us, you know, and then list building with people or building a list of people you don't know. So, and really what I'm getting at is the, is the UID, uh, the UIDs from Facebook. So I use a guy, if, you know, uh, there's, if there's a group that I want to target, uh, I have a guy who has software. I give him the, the Facebook group that might have 5,000 people in it. And I go, Hey man, get me the emails of all these people. Now, and again, the software pulls the UID from Facebook and, and from that, he, he can gather their Facebook address, right? Toby Salgado at facebook.com. Now I never use that, but Facebook is phasing that out. And what, and what happens is if you sent me an email to Toby Salgado at facebook.com, that, that jump dumps into the uh, email address that you have on file with Facebook. Have you ever, mm -hmm. have you ever played with that? Yeah. I mean, it, it, you gotta be kind of careful with that. Cause it's kind of, a, it, it can be tend to be a little bit of against in terms of service of Facebook and, We've played with that a few times, and they <laughs> shut my Facebook account down. They oh, wow. catch you using some of the services. <laughs> yeah. So just I'm just gonna say it can be done. You'll see that. But let me just take it even a step further. Here's what you do. You know, if someone has a group on Facebook. Instead of using the services like the like the automated software, just hire somebody overseas to go through and reverse look up every single name in the group, sleuth them down online, and see if you can build a list manually that way. Got it. That's one of the ways you can do it. To do it too. And you'd be surprised, man. I mean, you know, there's there's people out there that probably can hunt down names, and in a matter of one hour, can probably nail you about twenty to 20, twenty to thirty solid names an hour for a list building. I mean, we literally we have a person here at Viral Marketing for forty hours a week. All they do is lead research. So whenever you come into Viral Marketing and you just give me your email address or phone, I got to find out everything about you, and I'm going to find your LinkedIn. I'm going to research you. I'm going to find all your contact information. So by the time you hit the sales team, you know my guys are fully educated on who you are. And most of the big sales teams now in the Fortune 500 and whatnot, you know, they have full blown, you know, when the lead comes in, it goes through lead research before it goes to lead response who qualifies it. And then once the qualifier talks to them, like your ISA or whatever in real estate, then it goes to a closer. You know, if you put your expensive closers on raw web leads, it's extremely inefficient. Yeah, that's interesting, man. I'll tell you what, I have a VA um, through, uh, I'm sure you know these guys, my out desk. You know those guys? Yeah, I work with Daniel very, very closely. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so Daniel's been on the show, and and uh, so anyhow, um, and I've actually gone. I, I mean, I love his service. I love what he the the process. He's very, very thorough. But um, man, I, I I had one guy. I fired him the first day. I had another person. I fired her after like five days. And now I'm on my third VA, and and all I'm, I, I you know, I have her trying to build a list for me. And here's the list. So I want to have, uh, you know, Swapnil puts out the Power 200, right? The 200 most influential voices in real estate. Now, mm -hmm. I would love to have every single one of those people on my show. <laughs> so sure. I gave her that list. And I said, get everybody, you know, put them in a Google spreadsheet, get everybody's email address. And uh, she's on day four and she's, <clears throat> she's maybe 50% of the way through. Maybe she's just terrible okay. at it. Well, I would go a little bit further is that you have to kind of give them a process and do training with them on how to do list building. Okay. So when I hire a list builder, I say, look, we're going to actually do a screen share. I want to record it for you is that when I give you like a first name and last name, here's the whole process I want you to go through to find their contact information. So what I do is I teach them. So the first thing you do is you're going to Google the name and you're going to look for these search results. Then you're going to go to this site and then this site. And if you find this, then you're going to cross-reference this. So what I do is I go them through the whole process. And even further, as I just throw in there, if you find their phone number, you can't find their email, call up their office. Yes. And, 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 and just ask them, saying, hey, you know, um, I'm interested in contacting them. What's the best email that e email them to reach them? You know? Um, one more thing, and this is kind of a really cool, interesting way to, to scrape an email if anyone's interested, uh, prospect ace is usually, when, this is more for B2B prospecting, but like let's say if you want to go after a bunch of business owners or people that have companies, usually the email address is like first initial last name or first name dot last name or first name last name all together. Yeah. So what this service does, <laughs> it has pings like all these different variations of an email address. And once it hits the one that actually works, it says here's the confirmed email address. 
So you can actually upload a list to Prospect Ace, and it'll just start pinging you a bunch of different variations of a corporate email address. And once it finds the right variation, it'll say this is your verified email. That is really cool. Um, so, so look, is this the kind of stuff? I mean, this is this is all very, very interesting stuff to me. Um, yeah. When when somebody works with you, Frank, is this the kind of stuff? I mean, do you kind of coach them through yeah. this stuff? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's that's why we exist. I mean, look, you can get your video editing. It's like a real estate agent. I mean, you can find anyone to put on the MLS, you know. But it's like you go for the the advice and the consulting. So when someone comes to our firm, is our job is just to help you grow your business. I mean, I don't even care what we got to do. I mean, so we'll start with look, let's maximize your database. And conceptually, it makes a lot of sense. Get email addresses, shoot two videos a month, and call the people who watch your videos. What you start realizing when you talk to us and you get talked to us on the phone, you're like, well, how do I do that? What about this? How does this work? And since we're talking to like, you know, 200 of the top agents in the country all day long about how they're marketing, I mean, I have access to their back ends and what they're doing for the marketing and we're sending a million emails a month. I mean, I know exactly what emails get the highest open click-through rates. You know, clients are calling us up all the time saying, hey, I got this problem. How do I solve it? And that's literally all I do all day long is try to figure this stuff out. And then in our coaches' meetings, when I bring all the, the, the account managers or our success coaches here together, we talk about these things. So imagine having a marketing department that all they did all the time was try to figure out how to generate more leads for you kind of through a database marketing approach, right? Not necessarily buyer lead generation or online seller lead generation, but when it came to working a database, and that's what we specialized in, that's our game, man. That's what we know. So look, 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 look. So, so it, it, I mean, it, let's just. I mean, if I think about about my list, right? Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a, uh, you know, I, I've never done all the stuff you're talking about, right? Export and the Facebook stuff. So, but I, but I have this. I'll create this list. Let's say it's, let's say it's three thousand people. So I create sure. this list of three thousand. Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell everybody that I'm in, I'm in real estate. But yeah. That, that the first email, by the way, before we go, has to be very delicate because this is not like a permission opt-in list. So the first email, you make it very easy to unsubscribe. It's like, hey, all, I know we're connected. We talked at one point. I want to send you an email, let you know this is what I'm doing now. I want to keep you educated on what's going on with the market or here's, here's what I'm doing. If you don't want to get any email from me, no hard feelings, click here to unsubscribe. Make it super easy. But um, in the coming weeks, you're going to get your first little video tip on whatever it is. Look forward to talking with you. Got it. Okay. That's the first message. And he, but here's here, and that's 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 a great tip. My question is this: is that um, uh, my contacts are all over the nation? So how do I? How big of a list? You know, if I'm in again, I'm in San Diego. How big of a yep. list do I need for this to be functional, right? And and to actually work for me? Because it's got to be a local list, right? San Diego people, San Diego email. Okay, that is a great, great, great question. So here's where we have to kind of remove people's limiting beliefs. And we have to change the way that you kind of view publishing your, co your content. Where the question needs to be is how can I really scale my impact? Is that I have such good knowledge, such good information, and I want to tell everyone why it's so great here to live in San Diego, what it's about in San Diego. I want everyone to know. Everybody. Got it. Is that everybody needs to see how it's a different way of thinking? Yep. So you got to come to this by saying, I want everyone to know how great it is what, to live here and amazing it is. And the more people I can get this message out to, the better. Now, I don't want to spam them. So what I'm going to kind of do is, you know, even though I have their email addresses, I'm going to send them a polite little message, an unsolicited message saying, I'd like you to receive my stuff. And if you don't want it, just click here to opt out. No hard feelings. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you send them your great educational videos because they truly are helpful and you want people to know and, and benefit from your great knowledge. Okay. So that goes back to your question. You have this list of people all over the country. Yeah. The first email that goes out, people can unsubscribe. No hard feelings, right? But what if there is somebody in your database that wants to move to San Diego? Right. What if, what if someone maybe doesn't even really care about real estate, but they just enjoy getting your videos because they like you, right? right? Yep. Maybe they could afford your videos to somebody else. So what I always say is just – Export the whole thing and send out the message. Don't worry about segmenting. Now, here's another question. Why well, don't all the other realtors in the area to see what I'm doing? I'm like, well, that's a very limiting way of thinking about it. Why not let all the other realtors in the area see what you're doing? I've had stories of clients calling us saying, hey, a competitor of mine, a competing real estate agent, gave me their listing because they couldn't sell it. That's weird. <laughs> Yes, I swear to God, it's happened. What about recruiting talent to your team? Right. Now, obviously, if you're making videos and sending stuff out, you're probably a pretty savvy marketer. Most people aren't going to 
put themselves on camera, send out videos to everyone they know. That takes a certain level of person to do that. All right. Let me break in here with a message from our sponsor. Our sponsor, Discover Publications, will create a customized, branded 12-page newspaper that will be sent out to your farm and sphere. Now, this paper is cheaper than you think. For slightly more than the cost of a stamp, you can start sending out curated content and always stay top of mind. Never lose a deal again because that prospect just happened to forget that you were in real estate or misplaced your number. Go check them out at discoverpubs.com. When people see all this great marketing you're doing, you're going to have agents coming to you saying, hey, man, you're the expert of marketing. I'm going to come work on your team at a discount than what I can get at my broker because I want to partner with you because you're such a great marketer. And we find that when you include those videos and all the other agents get them, it helps you recruit real estate agents to come work for you because when you get the open and click reports, you're going to see all the agents watching your videos. All right. Now, they're not going to go off and copy what you're doing. All right. Yeah. It's very rarely that they're going to do that. Yep. But why don't you call those agents up? Say, hey, man, if you're watching my videos, you're probably not prospecting. <laughs> yeah. Go, come work for me. You know, here's all the value of coming to work for me. Gotcha. You know? Right, right. Yeah. And look, that's totally true. I mean, you know, I mean, in reality, I have all these, all these, you know, top people come on my show and we talk about what to do. And it's amazing. And my audience is a little bit more proactive than most. But, but when it comes to execution, when it comes to action, People just don't take it. It doesn't matter if they know exactly what well, to you, do. Well, you need, you need help. I mean, and here's, look, there's two ways to go about with your real estate business. You know, uh, you, you, my job at viral marketing is to train somebody else to do everything I do. I mean, I wake up, the first thing I think of every single morning is how can I train somebody else to do this? I look at my calendar every single day and I say, how can I get these things off my calendar? When I look at a task, I look at a task that I have to do, I figure out how can I train somebody else to do this? And your job as a, as a business person, if you want to be a business person, you say, look, I have to train someone else to do a listing presentation. I have to train someone to do these things. And that's how you can take on more. So the, the best client that comes to viral is like, look, I don't want to do any of this stuff. I need someone who can handle this for me so I can focus on at least my four money-making activities right now, which is prospecting, lead follow-up, negotiating contracts, and going on, present, on presentations, right? So when it comes to execution, there comes some point where it's like, man, I got to hire help. And it's really scary for a lot of people to make that jump. It was very, very, very scary to me. And it came down to, I have to very clearly write a job description and give them systems. And then I need to make sure that I communicate with them every single day for daily feedback. And when I did that, I found out that me being able to hire and train people to do work for me was so much more easier. So, so to answer your question with execution, I, I understand. I, I wouldn't, it, it could be a discipline thing. But I think it's just a matter of you got to make that jump of hiring somebody yeah. to help you. Yep, I agree. <clears throat> well, look, here. This I asked you a question earlier, and we didn't get around to it. So I'm going to ask you again. What uh, I'm sure you've had, you know, some 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 of your clients out of your 210 clients or or 206 or whatever, how many you have, you know, some have had, some have just crushed it, um, yeah. and others haven't. And that comes, oh, absolutely. Right. And so that in a, in a lot of ways, right, there's 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 size of list and then there's quality of list, right? It's 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 yes. just because I have a list, you know, how much do those people well, yeah, so let me, me let me answer that question for you. So you have the list size and you have list quality. I'll tell you this. The list size, and I'm telling you, you won't believe me, <laughs> is completely irrelevant. Every day it's like my database isn't big enough. I've had people come to me with thirty thousand people saying, Frank, my database isn't big enough. No one thinks their bit database is big enough. And then when I show them their open and click report, they get 5% open, 10% open, 30% open, 40% open. It's like, it's not big enough. I want 100% of everything. You know, I want the emails of every human being on the planet. And I want every single one of those people to open my stuff, right? Yeah. So what, I'm, what I want to go back to is about what's, the way you get better engagement. It has nothing to do with the subject line. It has nothing to do with the content of the email. It really doesn't. I mean... You can sit here and say subject lines and headlines and how we can trick people and all these things and how do you format the email. The number one 80-20 rule of getting people to engage with your stuff is who it's from. It's the person in the from line and the relationship of the audience with the person that it is from. And that person has trust and authority and there's a relationship from that person. Got it? Yep. So if you give me a list of 100 people that will buy everything that you sell – is much more valuable than a list of 10,000 people who put their name in online to search for houses. Right. 
so what I'm trying to say here is that what's the most important list are the true relationships. And it's interesting because, you know, people will give me a list of like, say, 10,000. And then I open, run the open and click reports. You know, 75% of the people click on through the links of people they know. And then what they say is like, well, I, this isn't working because I want more people not like, that's not really the case. Like people are going to open your stuff much more because they have a relationship with you much and much less because of some amazing subject line or some killer headline that you have. Yeah. Look, I would, I would, I would, I, um, for me, it's, I, I know, I know you're going with this quality is much important and then you can move on to the amount. So don't get rid They both work together. You need to have an amount. So the question comes into how do you grow your database? How do you get emails? Well, the first way most people think is, oh, I want to go scrape them and steal them and scrape them all online. That's the wrong answer. Okay. The right answer is that you got to get up for three hours every single day. You got to get on the phones. You got to go talk to people. Right. And after having a real conversation, you ask them for their email address. I mean, some of our best clients are getting 10 to 15 new email addresses a day from their phone prospecting. They speak to about 30 people every day before noon. And then about half those people will give them an email address because they want to send them value and valuable information to stay in touch. So you start with the people that you know, and then you start with a system to go out and talk to people to get more email addresses. So, right, I agree. Okay, I agree with that. So let, let me let me ask you this: What for again? You coach all your clients, and you know you 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 you're putting them on this correct track of of marketing to their list. You're helping them grow their list. What is the thing? I mean, look, I've had people who who I coach. I'm thinking of one girl in particular. She went. She she told me about a, a story. She was actually door knocking. She was out door knocking. She meets this guy. And she's really, she's very, very, if, if you talked with her, you know, she's really easy to talk to. She talked to this guy for 20 minutes now. And then at the end of that, she said, Hey, can I, can I get your email address? And I, I can't recall exactly Great. what she said, but you know what he said? He said, no, I'll, he said, no. So what, you know, she was doing, oh, great. The, yeah. Yeah. Well, why, well, why, why would he give her? Why would he give her the email address? That's there you go. That's, and that, that's what do you, what should she say? What, oh, why should she say absolutely. she wants it? Hey, um, I know exactly where home prices are heading. I almost have a crystal ball of knowing the direction of our market because I'm speaking to buyers and sellers every single day, right? Yeah. Um, I publish information on the direction of where our housing market is headed based upon, you know, based upon all the numbers. I want to make sure you see that so you make smart decisions when it comes to the value of your home, which is very nice. If you give me your email address and trust me with it, I will not spam you, and I'll make sure you get these very valuable video updates that I send. What's your best email? Boom, man, that was just like I felt just authority. Like you, you believed that you, that crystal ball. You believed yep. you had it. I love that. Well, because well, you well, you believe in your content, and that's where it goes back to. Is it goes back to like you know, you know, you have this knowledge, you want to share it. This is your passion. This is your expertise. This is what you do. This is why you're put on this earth right. to help people b buy and sell real estate. Now, you see the standard I'm coming here with? Yep. That, that inner, that inner uh, purpose yes. and drive yep. and the why is like you need to get this content. Like your, your life will be better off because you've received my content and you believe in it. And that's kind of the premise you have to approach a program like this where like this isn't just about you recording some video, blasting out to a bunch of people that know you and hopefully track to see how fast you can get your ROI. That's a very selfish way of looking at it. The way you want to look at it is that I want to better educate the world. I want to market my passion and expertise to help people, to inform them, to help them solve problems. And when I do that, and I'm unselfish about that, business will start coming to me. Yep. You know, and and the idea, I mean, I, I just, I, the same girl I actually just had a, a a, a quick chat with her this morning and I said, man, because she's, she, she's right in the middle of a deal that could blow. It's either going to be a zero or it's going to be three deals. So I'm like, this is critical. You got to make this happen. And I said, you have to feel like you're doing her, the, the per other person, you know, a disservice by letting her work with anybody else. You have to believe that man. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, you have the cure for cancer. You share it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what did I miss here? So, I mean, I, 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 well, let me, this is, you said to build your list, get on the phone and talk to 30 people every day. Now, now that's work, right? And, yeah. and, and that's worth it. And a lot of, look, that's where a lot of agents fall down, man. They, they, they want. Yeah. And, I, and, and, and every day I get asked, how can I avoid that? And I say, <laughs> you know, you can't now look, no, 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 look, we probably have a pretty savvy audience here where it's like, yes, I can go throw a couple hundred bucks a month at Facebook. 
I can run an ad on there that says, you know, here, get your free value report, and they go back and put their email address in, okay? There's, there's ways to build an email list with, like, your basic internet marketing methods, okay? And that's fine, but that's complementary to the core of prospecting and talking to people. Right. I mean, and, and then getting their email address. I mean, and again, who do you prospect? You know, you used to prospect past clients. You prospect centers of influence. You prospect just listen to sold calls around neighborhoods. You know, if I were to go out and, and start selling real estate, you know, I would build a team of like 10, 20 prospectors that would come in every morning to come sell, to come make calls. I would motivate them every single morning. And I would say, look, all 20 of you are going to talk to 30 people a day. So my office will what? Talk to 600 people a day? You know, get 300 emails a day. That's how I'd scale up the email generation of getting email addresses from like every documented property owner in the area. That's a great strategy. Yeah. You know, versus trying to like run an ad, trying to build a list. Right. So you'll, you'll be much more successful with that approach than trying to build it with like internet marketing methods, at least, at least in the real estate field. If you're in the information marketing field, like the coaching field, the books, the seminars, all that stuff, then you can do it online a little bit easier. Right. Um, man, you touched on something. And I, I, I had a really good question for you and I, I totally lost it. Um, I need, I need to write this. I, I write. Sometimes I get so enthralled in the story. <laughs> well, let me, let me, well, let me go back. Let's, let, me, let me simplify the marketing plan here is that the viral marketing plan is three things. Okay. You have to build a list. And we talked about you first build a list by going out and talking to people, showing your value to the world, asking permission to stay in touch and getting their email address. Step number one. Right. Yep. And not trying to shortcut it by scraping less, buying emails, all of talk to people, get their emails. All right. Then you have to schedule one appointment a month with yourself to actually record two short educational video tips that people actually find a value in their life. All right. Number two. And then finally, number three is you need to prioritize your follow up with the people that are actually watching the videos. OK, so if you follow that three step plan. This is how you get more commissions and more deals and more sales from your database. You got to build a database to start with and commit to doing it every single day by talking to people. You have to shoot two educational video tips a month that are timely and locally relevant and educational in nature. And then when you send it all to your database, you know, the cream of the crop rises to the top because you can tell who is engaging with it and you want to follow up with those people. That's it. Yep. Um, so, but hold on, hold on. So I, look, I love that. So list, uh, do the videos, right? Educate people and then prioritize your follow-up. Follow-up, correct. Um, that is what we do. I mean, all of our clients are following that three-step plan. Every single one. That's okay. what they do. That, that, that's the plan we coach at Viral. That is our system of how do you maximize those three things. And so, and you know, is there, you know, so in, in terms of moving people through the funnel, I mean, is there is there something else that I, that, that I'm not seeing here if I map this out? Are you thinking of lead conversion campaigns? Yeah. I mean, that might be where you're going here. So like, okay, so you want to start getting more sales from your database. You start by exporting everything you have into one big list, right? Mm -hmm. Send them the welcome message that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what we do is we go to the viral marketing plan of going out every single day, prospecting, going out and meeting people, get their email address, Setting aside time once a month to shoot two educational videos that go out to every single person in your list and then prioritizing your follow-up. Now, let's say you dominate that. Let's say you're rocking that plan. You got that going on. Now, what about all those buyer leads that are coming in? What about maybe you just talked to an expired listing and you want to convince them to take an appointment with you? Or maybe you reached out to a FISBO and you want to convince them to take an appointment with you. This is like lead conversion, right? which is different, which is different than like lead nurturing and staying in touch, which is kind of the viral marketing. Plan. Right. That's we, customer we do, development. Yeah. So we, yeah, we, we do that too. So I have these really nice written campaigns out and you can find and everyone has some type of a campaign. But the whole point is, let's say that I'm, you're an expired listing and I'm calling you up like the morning you're expired, your listing expired and you don't even know it's expired. You're like, hey, I, <laughs> you couldn't tell me I don't know how it's expired. Happens all the time. And you say, look, you know, will you take an appointment with me? Will you take an appointment with me? I want to sell your house. But they won't take an appointment because they haven't talked to their existing agent yet and they have no idea what's going on. All right? So you say, hey, look, at least let me give you your email. Let me get your email address. I'm going to send you my plan and my results of how I have sold more homes in your area at a better price point and faster time than any other agent that you plan on interviewing. 
what's your best email address? Right. right? Get their email. Yep. Now you have a little drip campaign set up that's like day zero, day three, day five, day 10, day 15, that drips out a little video success story or a little tip on how you plan about going out selling your home, what you do differently. So by the time that you call back, let's say a week later or two weeks later or whatever, by the time you can call back and say, hey, I'm, I'm Frank, like, oh yeah, man, I've been getting your stuff. Yeah, you know, you know what's going on. No one else, I mean, I've had a gazillion realtors call me but no one's been sending me stuff like you. I, I, I'm more trusted in you. I'll take the appointment with you and hire you for the expired listing. Right. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, and, and my question was, right. So that's, uh, so you call it lead conversion. You know, I was, I was saying move, move people through the funnel. Is, yeah. is that, is that a piece of what you do or is, or is absolutely. Yeah. Okay, it yeah that's, right. that's a very, very big piece. So where you start at viral marketing is you start by just rounding up all the emails you have yep. and starting the whole publishing two videos a month. Right. Now, once you are doing that and you're following the core of the system, the two videos a month and calling the people who, who watch your videos, then we move on to implementing one additional extra strategy a month. Now, the extra strategy is basically a treasure trove of a Dropbox I've acquired over seven years of doing viral marketing or so of like every marketing strategy out there known to man for real estate. Let me name a few. An expired conversion sequence, a buyer lead conversion sequence. Um, you have... Um, I don't know, like the Dave Ramsey leads that come in conversion. You have um, uh, a pre-appointment video that goes out, a pre-listing video that you send out. You have a seller thinking it over sequence. You have a new client welcome sequence. So when you take a, a new listing, a series of messages to trip out to enhance the customer experience of what you expect. Maybe there's a series of emails that trip out to encourage price reductions. I mean, literally, if you mapped out the whole customer experience from the time the new lead comes in, like literally the time they register on your website or the first time you talk to them, through the entire experience until you complete the transaction, you want to get referrals, you should have a whole, you should have your entire marketing sequence is complete, complete throughout the entire experience. And so it's, so it's together. And that's something we can help you do here at Viral Marketing. So, so do you have that map? So if I see if, if you know, if, yeah, uh, they're published on the, they're published right now on the website. I'm rewriting a few of them. Well, if you go to getviral.com, uh, uh, and click campaigns. Yeah, you'll I'm, see all the emails. Oh my gosh! Hold on. I'm, let me look at this. Yeah. So go to getviral.com. Uh, no, no, I'm campaign. here. I, I'm here. Coming soon. So expired listing sequence. Um, yeah. So a couple oh, of them are oh, live. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of them are live, and you can click it. You'll see those are the emails you should send out to the buyer leads. Those oh are the God. emails you send out to expired. They're right there. Right now, I wrote a lot of these, you know, a couple of years ago, so I have to kind of freshen them up a little bit. That's why some of them aren't aren't there because um, they're being rewritten. Right. But I publish all those conversion campaigns. I give away the content for free. You're more than welcome to go in there and use it. Um, but so you kind of see what you would implement. I mean, the challenge is loading up in the autoresponder and maybe getting some videos with it. Yeah. That's what we can help you out with. Yeah. And I want t- you to see the content. I want you. I want to give the content away, and and and, and people can see. Wow, that would probably be a really good thing to send out to those leads. That'd probably help me win the listing. Oh, of course. This pre the pre appointment sequence that would be awesome. Post post appointment sequence. Yeah. Um, this hey, is- I'm thinking it over. I'm interviewing a few more agents. You know, call me in a couple of days. Well, put them on this. Put them on that sequence. Man, I that is crazy. I uh, I can't wait till you get on. Look, I'm gonna link to this. Um, we have um, I have a. a well, I, I gotta I gotta let people know. I mean, a lot of those need to be. The reason a lot of the links there don't work is because I'm actually, like I said, we send out a million emails a month. I know which ones get the highest response. So like the ones that are getting responses three years ago are not the ones getting responses now. Right. So I want to. I'm going through. I'm rewriting them, and they're all up there on the website for free to use. Well, it, it, okay, it's all, you know, even if they're not exactly perfect today, maybe you know, maybe they're a little bit dated. I mean, this, this is stuff that people are not doing. I mean, this is stuff that the, the civilians no. out there selling real estate are not doing. This is the stuff. This is the stuff that the top producing guys are, are doing. So, well, here, well, here, well, here's this is why the top producing guys are doing this. Is you you come into business, and this is a business mindset of like. I want to help as many people as possible. And if I'm just an independent agent, there's people out there getting bad service from other agents, right? If you're just an independent agent, you can only do so many deals. And your market share is what, like a percent or something? I would lose sleep at night because there's business out there and there's people hiring bad agents out there. Right. And I won't have that. You see where I'm kind of coming yeah. from here? Yeah, yeah. So I don't want that to happen because I care about all the homeowners in our community. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a team. Because I'm going to create the systems. I'm going to create the experience. I'm going to create how real estate should be sold in my market. 
and I'm going to go out and I'm going to hire agents to come work for me. Now, the agents that work for me may not be as good as me, maybe 80%, because obviously the build a team takes some really good talent. However, to make their life easier, because they may not be quite as good as me, I'm going to give them marketing support. I'm going to give them buyer lead conversion campaigns. I'm going to give, me, give them some telemarketing help. I'm going to give them script and role play coaching. I'm going to do weekly four-on-one meetings with them. I'm going to do a morning huddle with them. We bring everyone together and we talk about how they're going to go to business. I'm going to give them all this support. So my business goes from being people dependent of some rock star, which is not really a business, yeah. to systems dependent where I could take anybody who wants to come sell real estate, plug them into my systems with my drip campaigns and all my other in seller intake forms, where anybody who wants to come sell real estate follows the system, they can be successful. And that's what the drip campaigns do, is it gets the messaging out there when the agent may not be that good of saying it through their scripts. Yeah, man, I love it. And and by the way, I'm looking at your past clients and uh and and I told you when when we met, I said, "Hey, your 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 service has been brought up on the show before." And I just remember so how Sweezy has been on the show. He is the guy that talked about this um very He's guy. Yeah, very early on and um uh, I have booked for the show. He was actually scheduled for tomorrow and his dad's in the ICU, uh Lars Hedenberg. Yeah. So, Lars and I work closely together. Um, yeah, look, man, I, I love this. I, you know, it, 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 I, it, I would love to see, um, uh, and, and we're going to sign off here pretty quickly, but I, I would love to see, um, one of the services I recently found out about and I, and I need to get them on the show cause I think they're really smart guys is a smart zip. So, and I'm, and I don't want to get into what smart zip does. I'm sure you know what they do, but, but yeah. it would be interesting to to uh you know use a smart zip on the front end right and identify these these people you know uh, uh, employ some somebody in the philippines you know to get all their contact info and then and then plug it into your system at viral marketing and see well, what see what you could build by, yeah, by doing well, like almost nothing yes well that's exactly well here's here's how that works I mean, clients doing that they, they they go to smart zip smart zip will tell you you know their algorithm is like you know who's most likely to sell their home in the neighborhood so they start direct mailing postcards for a free value report out to those people, right? Yep. So people get the postcard, they go to their computer, they go to the special website, they type their, in, their information in, and now you have their contact information of the person that registered for the free value report coming into you. But on top of that, what they'll do, I don't know if they do it, but you should do it, is they start retargeting you, meaning yeah. now that you went to your website, you start seeing these ads everywhere online, like come back and you know hire me to sell your home. Yep. All it is is just is, is just really just kind of getting someone to come to your website and register for a free value report, all right? Yeah. And then once you have the, and then it goes right back to the viral marketing system. Once you have the lead, what do you do with it? Well, you should have a little drip campaign that explains, you know, the value of you and why they should use you to sell their home if they're interested. You should have the two videos a month going out to nurture that person because the person that registered for what their home is worth may not be interested for selling two, three, four, five years out, you know, and. When you you know you just you got to start off trying to find the now business, but there comes a point where it's like, man, I'm really giving up a lot of the the, the maybes and the later's. I should just have a way to nurture those people as they come back to me, and getting those systems in place first before you go out and generate the leads. I feel is the is the best way to do it. The the wrong way to do it is generate the leads first without having a follow up campaign. I would right. I would go about the other way around. Right, right. No, no, I agree. And look, that's how you that's how you started off this interview, right? You said, well, geez, I better have a system in place before I go out and get it. So but look, Smart Zip, right? So so Smart Zip does one step further. They don't just do retargeting, right? Which again for everybody if you don't know, right? You go to my website, I grab your cookies and then I tr track you along. <clears throat> Smart Zip has a has a deal in place with this with some other company <clears throat> that that has gone out and knows the cookies from certain IP addresses. So I go out and I'm they 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 run me through their algorithm. I'm or let's say you you're most likely in the neighborhood to move in the next year or whatever. Um, they know that from they know your IP. They can get your cookies yeah. from that IP, and then all of a sudden they're serving up ads to you wherever you travel the the internet. Now now imagine imagine that I'm getting I, I've I've identified your email. And and now I have you on one of one of the viral marketing campaigns. So you are getting my my educational videos. <clears throat> number one, number two, and so you're you're starting to know me. You're starting to like me. You're hopefully you're starting to trust me. And then as you're cruising around the internet, like uh, you're getting ads served up. I mean, I mean that yeah. touching people that would be such a like it seems like a yep. powerful thing. 
And that's retargeting. And um, we like to use uh, a really good place to kind of start off if you're interested in retargeting is adroll.com. Yep. It was funny. We got uh, we, we ran some ad roll ads and everyone's emailing me. is like, oh my God, you're following me on everywhere. How are you doing that? And it was actually pretty cheap. So whenever you visit the website, I put a cookie on your computer and follow you around. But look, all of that stuff, all of these things is all can be shiny objects if you're not doing three things. If you're not prospecting every day and making 30 contacts a day. So I always ask everyone is that before we do any marketing, are you speaking with 20 to 30 people a day? And the answer is usually no. I said, well, we got to do that first or you need to hire and train a prospector to do it for you. Then we should go on and start kind of doing all this marketing stuff. So I really want to pay attention to anyone who's listening to this is that if you don't have the calling in place, if you don't have the prospecting in place, if you're not on the phones talking to people or either doing that yourself every morning with time blocking or you've hired someone to do it for you and you trained them and give them script practice and all those good sales management techniques, I wouldn't be focusing on retargeting. <laughs> I'd be focusing on that and slowly move your way up to all the different marketing stuff. Got it. Yeah, no, look, that makes sense. And I just, I was just thinking about a way that, you know, no, again, yeah, definitely. Because you don't want to cool. do the work, right? People don't want to do the. Is there a way to like just put put some things in place? And look, we don't have to go down that rabbit hole. I will. So listen, Frank. Uh, well, before we sign off, a couple of things. One, I always ask for a, you know, here's a question I, I ask sort of at the end. I'm an aspiring agent. I have 25 bucks. What book should I go buy today? Uh, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book by Gary Keller. Boom. And Dave Jenks and Jay Pops on which both those guys have been on the show. If you haven't gotten that book, you need to go get it. Um, and, and maybe you, you're thinking you don't have time. Look, you can get a free copy of that with our link. Just use audibletrial.com slash superagentslive. Get a copy. Plug it in, man. You're listening to my show. Sign off here and start to listen to that book. It's a great book. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, Frank, listen, is there uh, – we're late, man. I, I, I have more questions to ask you, but we're running way, way over. So, um, sure. hey, man, thanks for coming on. What I'd really love to do – you don't have to do, answer me now, but I really – people are spending 57 minutes listening to this. You know, it would be yeah. really cool if uh, – if, uh, you yeah, know. I'll give I'll give you I'll give you an offer. So here's the offer. So we send out like a million emails a month. Like we do, a, we really know our game when it comes to like, you know, email broadcast to a list. If you want to send us an email, you've been sending out, just forward it to Scott S C O T T at Get Viral G E T V Y R E L. We have a little checklist that we put through for our emails. We'll take a look at it. We'll look at the subject line. We'll look at the header copy, the body copy, the image line, the alt text, all of that stuff the formatting, the size of it for mobile optimization, the responsiveness, and we'll tell you how to get better results from your existing emails at no charge, no obligation, no sales presentation. We'll just give you some advice. Killer. Guess what? I, I'm the first guy. I'm going to send Scott an email. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, sounds good, man. Hey, buddy. Thanks for coming on. All right. Look forward to it. Thanks. See you, man. Let's go.